10 minutes into, into the match, I went uh, to tackle and I got come out with a free. I stood up to take the free and basically I, I didn't get taken the free and I landed um, on, the, on the ground. And that's about as much as I remember. Some of my players then come to, to help me and uh, like Christian Harrison at the weekend, next thing I remember was three days later in hospital where um, my wife was telling me what, what all had happened and my heart had uh, went into a state where it was beating at about maybe 250 to 300 beats per minute and then goes out of control and basically just starts to shake and, and my heart stopped. On the night of my of my uh, arrest, uh, actually the first defib that was brought wasn't charged, so that caused quite a bit of confusion. Um, then there was doctors called for from from the stands, so three doctors came forward, um, give me CPR, and then obviously the second defib then was one of the ones that had been brought about by the Cormac Trust and the awareness that they were bringing around the, the football ground. So apart from them having done that there, I would say that I wouldn't wouldn't be here today. Well, I suppose it's just the awareness around the importance of the defibs, um, the awareness around maintaining them whenever you have got them. But then it's no, it's no good having defibs unless you have people people that can use them. So you know, the importance of having first aid training or even a, as little as defib training. I think the best place, is, is place that is to do it at primary school. So you know, younger children soak th so much stuff in. So you're sitting there with everybody trained. Um, coming out of primary school and they'll carry this with them throughout their, their life.